I see. You wanna make realistic range for your kinky posters? I mean, your your family friendly Splatoon posters. Yes. Okay, it's actually not that hard. So today I'm gonna show you how to do it. And for this tutorial, I will use Paint.net because it's the it's the software I know how to use. So just open it up. So this doesn't require plugins, but it is good if you if you have the the color balance plus. It's not required, but it'll make it look better. But as I said, it's not required. If you want to know how to install it, I'll link a video in the description showing you how to do it. And the link to the plugin. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is add a new layer. Right here. Add new layer. So now we have a second layer. What you want to do now is pick the gray, a gray color and uh, pick the paint bucket and just left click on the poster and now we have a gray uh, color here so now you want to go to effects noise and add noise and just crank it up to max and uh, drag the color saturation all the way down and the coverage all the way up like that so now we have some noise here and if you want to zoom in you can hold control and scroll or use uh, this uh, slider here. Now you want to go to layers and rotate and zoom. And now you want to zoom in a little bit. It depends on what resolution you have. I have 4K. If you have, uh, for example, 10, 1080p or even 720p, you, you don't need to zoom in that much. But uh, since I'm using 4K, I want to zoom in a little bit. And now you want to go to effects, blurs, and motion blur. And now you want to pick a good angle where the rain will fall. So maybe like maybe here. You want to change the distance a little bit. Uh, not too much. Around here seems fine. So now it starts to kind of look like something, but we're not done yet. So go to adjustments and brightness and contrast and now we want to bring up the contrast a lot and bring down the brightness now it starts to look like rain doesn't it i think around here seems fine okay we can zoom in and check the details seems pretty good here you can reset it and now if we go to properties and set the blend mode to screen you can see it kind of looks like rain but it, it looks very unrealistic and bad so we definitely have more work to do so what we can do to fix that is uh, go to adjustments and brighten the contrast again and now reset these and bring up the brightness a little bit like that and then go to adjustments again and here we want to use color balance plus and as I said you don't have to do it but it definitely helps with the realism so uh, it is good to install the plugin and as I said before it is in the description so you want to make the shadows a little bit blue and some cyan and a little bit green something like this because uh, if you have rain it will probably be cold so then it makes sense to have cold colors. There we go. You want to add a new layer here. And then uh, choose white and the paintbrush. And change the brush width uh, to uh, maybe, maybe like around 1500. Should be fine. And the hardness uh, all the way down. And then. Uh, put down some dots here and there like that and then go to properties and change the opacity like that and then you can merge the layer so now those two layers were combined to, to only one now you can go to adjustments again and uh, change the brightness and contrast a little bit Maybe a little bit more contrast and a bit more brightness, like that. 
And now if we go to properties and screen, it looks a little bit better. Still not great, but a bit better. Right now, it looks kind of flat. Uh, I'm, it doesn't really have any depth. So what we need to do is make multiple layers of uh, rain. And how we're going to do that is uh, create a new layer and pick uh, gray, the paint bucket, do the same process again. So add noise like that. And this time we don't want to zoom in. So uh, keep it as, uh, as it is and go to uh, blurs and uh, motion blur and do the same thing. Like, uh, like, like that. And why we don't want to zoom in is because uh, this will be the background uh, rain. So it will be smaller now. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than uh, this rain. So now we want to go to color balance again. Make a new layer. Put, put down some dots again. You don't have to, but I, I would. I would probably do it. And change opacity. Like that. Merge layer. Go to adjustments again, brightness and contrast. Change this, change it just a little bit. Like that. And now we have a background, uh, now I have some background rain. So this is the, I don't know what to call it, the primary. The, and the, here's the background, uh, and here's the background rain. Now we wanna make the rain in front of the camera, almost where the camera's lens is, so. Uh, Okay, so duplicate the layer and go to and go to rotate and zoom. And now we can just pan it a little bit so it's a bit different. Like that, maybe? And bam, we barely did any work. So now we have three layers of uh, rain, which gives which gives it a lot more depth. And to make it even more realistic, you could go to fo you could go to effects, photo and glow and make it glow a tiny bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. See, it glows a little bit. And let's do it on the other layers. And uh, if you wanna just copy what you did, you can go here, repeat glow, or control F as it says here. So, control F and control F. And there we go. Now we can go to properties and put the blend mode to screen on all of them. There's definitely more rain, but it doesn't really look realistic, right? Well, that's because we're not done yet. So let's start with the background uh, background rain. So uh, hide uh, these, so we only have the background uh, rain. So we want the background rain to be, uh, well, in the background. So we want to erase, so pick the eraser, and we want to erase where, it not, where it's not supposed to be. So, for example, we want it to be we want it to be behind this fence. So um, we gotta erase where it's in front of it, like here and stuff. And it's uh, it's recommended to have the hardness very low, so you don't make any sharp edges. If you if you do some mistakes, you won't see it uh, as uh, much. So this uh, process will take a little bit, but it's definitely worth it. I will probably speed it up. Also, a little tip here: uh, you can change the blend mode to normal, so it's and change the opacity a little bit, so it's easier to see where to erase. There we go. So now you can put the blend mode on screen again. And there we go, now it's only in the background. If you have uh, some background blur in the poster, as you can see I have it, uh, you, you, wanna, you wanna make the rain blurry as well. So go to effects, blurs, and unfocus. 
and why we won't use Gaussian blur is because it's it's not a very realistic blur. It's uh, unfocused mimics how how it would uh, look on a real camera. It's not perfect, but it's definitely closer. So I want to match how much blur it is. It is a bit pixelated because it's so small. You might want to use Gaussian blur first, like one, two, and then unfocus like that. Maybe even more, so we can repeat it again. Like that. So now we can move on to the second layer. We won't, uh, we won't blur it, but we will erase some parts, like some of the ground, not, not all of it, but around to our feet, like that. And uh, we will erase uh, where she is and the plant. So let's go. Now for uh, the plant. All right, now it's time to uh, set the blend mode to screen. There we go. It starts it's starting to look like something. And now for uh, the final layer, which we don't have to erase anything, we just have to blur it with unfocus. We can uh, remove, we can uh, we can hide uh, this one so it's easier to see. So blurs and unfocus. Oops. And make it a little bit unfocused, like that maybe. And now we can turn on all the layers. And there we go. Now it looks like. Kinda realistic rain, doesn't it? We might want to change opacity of uh, some, like uh, this one maybe, a little bit like that. There we go. That that looks pretty cool. We can make it even more realistic. There are many different ways you can make it more realistic. Uh, I'm gonna show you um, two two more methods. So uh, what we can do is. Uh, make the ground wet because when it's rainy the ground is wet obviously so we want to make the ground more dark and have more contrast so go to the background layer and pick this lasso select tool and now you want to you want to select the ground you don't have to be you don't have to be precise at all just look just look does that look precise to you? I don't think so. We can erase a little bit here. You hold Alt to erase. Like that. And now we wanna press Ctrl C to copy it. And make a new layer. And press Ctrl V, which will paste it. So now we will go to Adjustments and Brightness and Contrast. And now we will uh, bring up the contrast a lot. Not too much though. Like that, maybe. And now we will erase the edges. So pick the eraser and um, remember the harness and set the harness to the lowest. And uh, time to erase it. You can change. You can change the uh, opacity if it's hard to see sometimes. But make sure to fix it uh, when you're done. There we go. Now, fix opacity. There we go. Now the ground looks kind of wet, which is cool. But we're not done yet. Here's my final tip uh, to um, make it uh, more realistic. So, uh, add a new layer. And pick the pencil. And the pencil will only draw single pixels. See? And uh, we will... 
we will make uh, rain splashes. So when the when the when the rain hits the ground, it will like splash. I'll put out I'll put up a, a, an image so you can uh, see how it looks like. This isn't the best method, but it works fine for me. So let's uh, start on her shoes. Like uh, just put uh, a lot. Just put uh, just put some uh, streaks here and there. Um. So go to effects, distort, and frosted glass, and then uh, bring up the maximum scatter radius, and also the minimum. Okay, starts to look like something, but we're still not done. So go to blurs and Gaussian blur, and put it at put it at yeah two two is fine. Go to effects again, go to photo, and then sharpen and bring it up all the way okay and then do it again now it kind of looks like rain splashes we can bring it up a little bit like that it's pretty cool but we, we want to have it uh, in more places so let's do that you want to make a new layer for every part so make a new layer and uh, let's do it uh, on the actual body Okay, so now do the same process again. Effects, d distort, frosted glass, bam. Effects, blurs, Gaussian blur, bam. Effects, photo, sharpen, bam. And again. There we go, you might wanna erase a little bit. You can bring it up a little bit. There we go, now we're done for the body. So now we're gonna work on the ground and uh, the fence. And also the plant. So let's start uh, with the fence. Okay, effects, distort, frosted glass, bam, effects, blurs, Gaussian blur, bam, effects, photo, sharpen, bam, and again, bam. Now we wanna bring it up a bit. Like that. Now we'll go to effects, blurs, and unfocus because it is a little bit unfocused, not a lot, but just a tiny bit, like that. And now we wanna go work on the on the ground. Why I'm only drawing here is because I will, I want uh, this area to be unfocused, and also this area. So now for the unfocused one. Now let's let's uh, blur it a bit like that. And now the last part, the plant. So make a new layer, and let's start. There we go. Looks kind of realistic, doesn't it? But we're still not done. I know I said this was the last uh, tip to make it more look realistic but we have one left and that is color grading because color grading can really make it look better so merge all the layers by uh, by going to image and flatten now we have merged all of them so now we can go to adjustments and color balance plus and this as I said before is a plugin I I will have it in the description and blah 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 make the shadows blue because it's probably quite cold. It's raining like that. Go to adjustments and color balance plus again to change the midtones. We also want them to want them to be blue. Like that. And also the highlights. 
There we go. And we might also want to change the brightness and contrast. Maybe, that's your choice, but yeah, I'm gonna do it. Bam! Look at that! It looks like re sorta realistic rain. But if you're not happy with it, you can try again with maybe more motion blur or something. So, that's how I make rain in my posters, if you have seen them before. I hope this was useful because you asked me and I delivered. So, uh, all we gotta do now is save it to file, save as. Okay. And bam! If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. And also, if you have an idea on uh, what tutorial I should make, you can also tell me in the comments. That's all I have to say, so thanks for watching, bye!